Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Steph Reads Books. My name is Stephanie and today this is gonna be my week two of vlogging my owls. So the owls, I did my TBR in another video. If you wanna go watch that, I can link it down below. Honestly, it's not really hard to find on my channel. I don't have that many videos, but yeah. So this is gonna be week two. Um, I decided to post these videos every Wednesday or Thursday. I don't know when my last one came out, but depending on the editing, um, because I really wanted to do the whole week and it kind of matches with the end somehow of the month so yeah so this week i'm gonna start by reading the night country by melissa albert this is the sequel to the hazelwood and i got it off of book outlet yeah oh my god it doesn't have the because usually book outlet books have like a sharpie mark it doesn't have it fun so yeah look at this cover Silly petty. Whatever. I'm <laughs> really annoying. Okay. And I'm probably also going to read The Winter of the Witch by Catherine Arden, which is this third book in the Winter Night trilogy. I mentioned this in my TBR, so if you want to know a bit more about... Well, I don't really talk about The Night Country, but whatever. <laughs> if you want to learn more, then you can go watch my TBR. That would be really nice. Um, don't forget to like this video if you like it. And to subscribe, that would really mean the world to me to know that somebody kind of likes my personality. <laughs> oh my god, that sounds kind of weird. Um, so today, I plan on recording more because I want more footage because I feel like the other one will be boring. <clears throat> I'm filming this straight after I film the outro, so that's why I say that. So now I'm gonna start the night country <clears throat> and I'll update you when I stopped to go for breakfast at about 11. And I think right now it's like 9.40 or something. So yeah, I'm gonna start. Guys, can we take a moment to appreciate this baby? He's so freaking cute. He was just like rolled over on the side, but then I pulled up my phone and he just doesn't like it. Hey, you love me. Act like you love me. Such a big boy. I don't know if the camera's gonna pay his purring, but... <laughs> Whatever. I love him so much. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Um, this morning I wanted to update you on my reading that I did last night uh, in the night country. I reached page 120, I think. 128, so... Yeah, chapter 16 with this adorable box. It's so cute. So yeah, I just needed to <laughs> mention that it's absolutely too cute. And I also wanted to show the end papers because they're really gorgeous. And yeah, so far I'm liking it. Um, I feel like I say this to every single book I read, like so far I'm liking it, but <laughs> bear with me what i love is like the new york city setting because sometimes it's the setting that i'm just like eh that's why i don't like the book or like it just goes down in my rating because the world isn't clear enough and in this one well it's new york city so if you don't know new york city then maybe you won't like the setting but i love new york city so that's really a good setting and it's different from the hazelwood because if you have read The Hazelwood, let me know. But I personally didn't really enjoy The Hazelwood. Like, the storyline was just weird. And I really didn't enjoy it. But this one, I'm enjoying so far. I love that there's the addition of X stories also. This might be a spoiler. I'll see. But I don't think so. There's like... It says it, literally, in the synopsis. And there are like X stories and stuff. And so yeah, I love that, and the characters are really fun, and the plot right now is really good. So we'll see what I think. My plan for tonight is to reach page, well, 200, so like 
chapter 26 with this adorable rabbit. So yeah. Um, I'll update you, well, I guess, tomorrow morning. Because I never update at night. Because I finished reading too late. And then my mother's sleeping. And then I'm like, nah. Okay, I won't disturb her for filming. So, I update in the mornings. Hi. So that has nothing to do with books, but I was just playing The Sims. And I noticed, I don't know if it's in the latest update that we got this, but look at that. What? How long have we had this? It's in the children's stuff bag. Where's my mouse? Okay. It's in the children's stuff bag, and I have never seen it before. Like, I don't know, I'm just really mind blown. <laughs> That's that. <laughs> Goodbye. Update on my Sims. I'm done with my family. Or my gallery. It's... I don't know what it is. <laughs> but they have two doggos. Look at it. It's a corgi. And this... I don't know. But it, it's called Ursa. It's a girl. But look at this picture. It's so cute. I'll find my gallery and like write it on the screen. So you can go and make sure you have you activate custom contents. Because my game says I use custom contents. Well, these ha do. But my builds don't have custom contents. But it says they do. So... I'll pop the name on the screen, like, now. Hello for my third update, I think. It's... Mm, my days are getting messed up. I think it's Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Friday? I think we're Friday. Whatever. Last night, I reached my goal for my reading, so... Chapter 28. So we are at page... 230... Yeah, 230. And so tonight, I'm finishing this one. And I don't know yet, but I want to read next. Either The Winter of the Witch or Always in Far Lar Jean. Because I don't know if I want to keep on with fantasy. Because I just read three fantasy books in a row. And I've been reading fantasy since the beginning of March. Without any sort of break. I don't think... Let me take my bullet journal. Have I showed my owl spread? I don't think I did, but that's my owl spread. I hope you can see it right. I don't know. And then we have the rest of my books here. But yeah, my theme was like wands and stuff. But I yeah. don't know if I want to read a contemporary, so always have heard of Lara Jean. Or if I just finish my major visual arts. Yeah, just checking that it's really that. And read The Winter of the Witch. So I don't know. But let's talk about this book a bit. I like it. It's good. Uh, there were more updates about Finch, which I really like. You get to see from his point of view. For about the first... Well, 150 pages, you don't see him, you see nothing of him. And then at some point it switches and you have his point of view when he's in the hinterland and stuff. So I really, really like that. And you meet a new character and you just, it's really, really cool. So I'll give more thoughts probably tomorrow after I'm done. So that's basically my update. Uh, today I did nothing. Like I just made, oh yeah, I made granola. That's all I did. And disinfect at the grocery the groceries. Neat. <laughs> so yeah, this is it. Goodbye. See you.
Hi everyone, so we are two days later than my next than my last update. We're now Sunday night and I didn't update yesterday because I barely did any reading. I ended up calling my friend on FaceTime the whole night. We were on FaceTime for six hours, so really my reading plans got crushed and I couldn't read. I think I read like 10 pages last night and like 10 yesterday morning. So yeah. This morning I read 40 pages, so I'm really happy. I'm now at page 90 of The Winter of the Witch by Catherine Arden. It's really good. I like it. Uh, <laughs> now I'm really tired. So my goal for tonight is to read 100 pages. Uh, it's now, I think it's seven or something. So I can definitely read 100 pages and reach what chapter will it be? Well, chapter 21, Enemy at the Gate, and it is at page 200, so it would be 110 pages. And I'm really sad because a character that I really like died, well, a character, it's an animal, you will know if you have read this book, but I'm really, really sad. In like the first 25 pages, they, it died. And I was like, why? <laughs> but that was my update. As I said, I like it so far. That's all I'm gonna say tonight. So hopefully I'll be better and I'll update tomorrow morning. So we are the next day, it's Monday and I wanted to update on my reading in The Winter of the Witch. So in my last clip, I think I said I wanted to reach page 200 last night, and I did. I reached my chapter last night, and I read like 10 more pages this morning. So yes, <clears throat> just ate dinner, so my voice is kind of weird. That's that. <laughs> And my goal for tonight is to reach page 300. So chapter 31, all the brushes. So it's actually 2.99. I hate when I do that. I make mean, the chapters at like 99. You can't say you reached 300, but you're at 99. Anyways. And if I can, I'm gonna read more. Right now it's about 6.30 p.m. So, sorry, I just burped. That was disgusting. I don't know, if, whatever. Uh, but if I can, I wanna read more. Maybe reach like 3.30, Lightbringer. I don't know, but we'll see. Cause last night I really was tired. As I think I, I think I did a clip last night, right? And I was really tired and I kept on falling asleep. <laughs> so I had to like change my mind and play a game. And so my reading really didn't go fast because of that, because I fell asleep. But I don't know what else to say. They're back in Moscow and the Winter King is there. It's great. They did some things in the bathhouse. Right? I don't know what to say, really. I suck at giving synopsis of books. So I'm sorry about that. If you expect to have big, like, what I liked about this book, I don't think so. Well, yeah, I can just... It feels weird because it's the third book of the series. So I don't want to spoil anything that's why i don't give my opinion but whatever if i don't know what to say i shall just stop talking so i'm gonna go get reading see where i can go and i will update most likely tomorrow afternoon hi everyone we are the next day it's what like 6 30 and we're in my living room so i'm gonna talk about the winter of the witch because I'm done with it. And I really, really liked it. I will say it's a four 
4.5 star read. Um, but I don't know why, I just didn't get that feel of like intense satisfaction of a five star read. So I give it 4.5 basically. But I don't know if I really mentioned what this is about um, in my TBR. But I'm gonna say what this book is about and what I like. So it is basically Vasia and she travels around Russia. And at the beginning, she's in Moscow. And towards the end, she is like in the forest. She reunites with Morosko, the frost demon, winter king, whatever. And it is, again, the story with Morosko's brother, which is called the bear that you see in the first book. He comes back for some reasons and they try to defeat him and later they have an alliance with him and I won't say more. As I said, the character that dies in the beginning of the book, I'm really happy they come back. I was super excited when they came back. Another character dies, I won't spoil who they are because I think that's really bad, but yeah. Um, and they finally achieve what Vasilya has been trying to achieve through two other books, which is to unite the spirit world, so the Chiatis, I don't know how to pronounce this, um, but it's basically the guardians of the stove, the backyard, they're, they're guardians for everything, and basically they are the housekeepers that guard the humans of their houses, and her goal is to unite the soul world, the, well, not soul world, the guardian world with the Orthodox Church because they are fighting and the Chiatis spirits are fading because people stop believing in them, stop making offerings to them, and they believe in the church. So her goal is to unite them and she finally achieves that with an alliance with the headmaster of the church in Moscow and that was really satisfying because she was really happy and there was a great battle scene and I don't know if I said that but this book has a lot of horses like it's crazy or horses and I love it there's this um magic with horses that they turn into some magical horses turn into birds so there's Solovey I see his horse who turns into a nightingale, but he's too young to turn into a bird. But we see the firebird, which on the cover you can see there is the firebird and there's a horse. It's a horse actually. And it was really, really cool. And I liked it. I really recommend this book series if you love uh, Russian history and magic because it was a kind of magic I had never seen before. And yeah. I overall really liked it and I do not regret having read it. And I said that I did not think this book was really about a witch, but in my TBR, so you can go watch that, whatever site, I'm, it's gonna pop up, I don't know. But throughout the whole book, they call Vasia a witch and she at some point calls herself a witch. She accepts that, yeah, she that's what she is. She has magic, she is a witch and so. I'm glad I took a good bet and it was actually a witch because the prompt was history of magic. So a, a story involving witches and wizards. I, I'm sorry if I play with my book, it's just when I have something in my hands, I need to move it. <laughs> so I'm gonna put it down. And yeah, um, a story involving witches or wizards. And I was like, there's a witch of the witch, but I don't know if, but yeah, it was actually witches. I feel like I'm rambling. So I'm gonna get on with my next read, which will be Always in Formal Art, Jean. This is a reread for me. And it is the third book in the Always in Formal To All the Boys I've Loved Before series. So we follow Lara Jean. And in this one, she has to decide which way she goes. So if she breaks up with Peter and goes with John Ambrose McLaren, or if she cuts the links with John Ambrose and goes with Peter. I know how it ends, but I don't want to spoil anything. Uh, I know there is the Netflix movies. Netflix, oh my god, that came up wrong. The Netflix movies for To All The Boys I've Loved Before and P.S. I Still Love You, which are the two first books, and they are on Netflix. <laughs> and I don't like the movies. 
I don't think they're really representative of the books. I mean, the storyline is there, but it misses so many parts. And to me, John and Rose will always be a white boy with sandy blonde hair and blue eyes, which he's not in the movie, but yeah. And they, they cut it out the best part of the second book when they're in the car, whatever. <laughs> yeah, but this book, as I said, is really Lara Jean deciding where she's gonna go. Also, she decides what college she's gonna go if she goes to UVA or if she goes out of state, if she is like Margot and wants to go out of the country. And it's really a story of choice in this one. And you see really how she is messed up and stressed about it all. So I'm really excited. I, I sound like I have read it because I have read it, but yeah, I'm gonna jump in this one later tonight. I think I'm gonna watch, there's a clock over there. That's why I keep on looking there. I think I'm gonna watch a few YouTube videos, but I just wanted to do an update, the different background since we're in the living room because my parents went for a walk and I just thought it could be cool. So I'm gonna leave you on that. Hi everyone, we're the next day and I'm coming to end this vlog. So last night I started Always in Front of Lara Jean and I decided to give a shot to the audiobook on Scribd, on Alan Scribd, and I am at chapter 15, so page 120. And as I was listening to it on audiobook, I decided to start this bind up of fairy tales from Nordic countries and I read one last night, so yeah. This is for my potions and my potions owls, and this is for my arithmancy. And I know I like always in front of Lara Jean, and so I'm not gonna talk too much about it. And this is a bind up of fairy tales, so every character changes at every story. So I can't really say too much about it, but I know I love fairy tales. So that's that. But ending this vlog. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope someone's watching this end. Uh, if you reach this point, comment down below what you're currently reading and you can give this video a thumbs up to support my channel and if you would like, you could subscribe, that would really make my day. And I guess that's it. I'm trying to be shorter in my intros and outros, so goodbye. I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!